Um, it's our Monday Q&A. So we do that the last Monday of every month, unless something comes up, we might have a product launch and it's not going to be, but we really try to do it the last Monday of every month. So you guys can get into the habit of saving those big questions to ask us live, and then we will go through. So start thinking of your questions. Um, I know we did not announce on Friday a reminder about this Q&A, so um, it may have come as a surprise. So think of those questions. I know you guys have them. And while we're doing that, we'll talk about a few things that we get repeat questions on. So first, I get a lot of questions on topics that we've done training Zooms on. I um, mean, that's fine. I'm always happy to answer, but we say so much in our product trainings uh, hard to get that all written, you know, in an email. So uh, let's speak about uh, diabetes or high blood sugar, um, something with cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, stroke. Um, we actually repeated our training on that. So we have high blood pressure on there. We have cholesterol and we just did an overall cardiovascular disease, which encompasses it all. So make sure you utilize those trainings. Um, I've had a few on um, brain and mental health, which I do know we need to repeat that one because we've added a few supplements in there, like I think a methylene blue and our creatine, both the HMB that are beneficial. Um, so just make sure you utilize our training videos and I try to organize them under the playlist category on our YouTube channel under the products. So that way you can quickly go to it and you can wean out some of our, um, you know, Thursday and Friday training zooms. Um, and again, speaking of Thursday and Friday training Zooms, if you have questions about the business, guys, that's where to get those answers. Um, this Monday Zoom is strictly product and health related. So if you do ask questions regarding something else outside of it, we're not going to answer it here. Um, you can go ahead and email them or join on, um, especially the Friday training Zoom, where you'll hear people, you know, from some of our leaders that might help answer questions. Um, another common one, oh, you just mentioned this morning, Ryan was saying about eye health, mm. get a lot of questions about eye health, vision support. And Ryan, you want to tell us what is in our multivitamins? Yeah, happy to, for sure. You know, it's funny. It's not funny. It's actually a sad state of affairs for us as we become more and more of a digitized society because we're spending so much time, uh, in front of devices that are emitting, you know, mostly blue light. And mm -hmm. of course we've always had indoor exposure to artificial light, um, but the reality is these, even our kids, you know, in schools are all shifted now to the computers. There's no okay. more real paper tests, paper, anything. Uh, and so myopia and like eye, eye disease is a real concern. Um, there's been a number of clinical studies and trials that have demonstrated the benefit of some ingredients to help with preventing eye disease, things like age-related macular degeneration, which mm -hmm. is a big one. And um, when you look at the studies and you see what the benefits are, they really comes down to some of the carotenoids. It, there's two main ones. There's lutein and zeaxanthine. It's really based on the ARIDS and the ARIDS-2 study. There was two big studies done. And when you look at eye supports, eye support supplements, they kind of stand alone on the, in, you know, on the aisle or uh, wherever, uh, the digital aisle, I guess now. But, and they're generally pretty expensive, you know, when you look at the price points. So when we were formulating the multivitamin, I was like, geez, why would, why, why don't we combine the vision support? Cause everybody needs it. Very and uh, yeah, right. There's nobody I can't, I can imagine it would be an issue for or not having enough zeaxanthine or too much zeaxanthine and, and uh, lutein. So that's what we did. We put it in the multivitamin and I feel like most people don't even realize it. Like they're just not aware of it, that there's such these two awesome ingredients that are that are of the marigold flower. It's actually a marigold extract. So right. it's the, the the two primary pigments of the flower and they're responsible for absorbing blue light. They are potent antioxidants. They're highly concentrated in the retina in the back of the eye. And again, play a huge role in absorbing blue light. Right. And given the eye, um, the antioxidants, because a lot of oxidative stress is occurring in the retina, believe it or not. And that's, that's the inflammatory process that mm -hmm. when, yeah, when there's uh, free radicals. So um, that oxidative stress can be neutralized with uh, the marigold extract. So lutein, okay. zeaxanthine, it's an amazing combination. And, um, and in yeah. both of our multivitamins, our men's yeah, and our women's. Our multi. Yeah. So something you should be taking every day, regardless. Now you're also benefiting yeah. your um, And, and tell health. those kids to take more frequent breaks from the computers. Yes. Too long, too Constant many hours. Battle Screen time. Is, in our home. You think it's an hour, it's four. Right. It's crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So that's one of the mm -hmm. popular questions. Yeah, sure it is. Another one, I'm going to try and demonstrate this here. I know Ryan's 
tried to demonstrate a couple oh, of times. Oh, I failed, I failed a few times. It doesn't work every time. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to show you how to minimize the blue with taking your methylene blue strip. Um, because I know I too would not want it to rock around with a blue mouth every other day. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily go away. Okay. So I open it up. I take it. I fold it into quarters. Sometimes it breaks when I'm doing it. Regardless, it's a stack. I put it on the very back of my tongue. Uh -huh. I immediately swallow water. Mm, yeah, not bad, not bad. Little teeny dot in the back, just where I did that placement. But if you get your mouth too wet, it's going to start to be prior to, it's gonna to start to dissolve and then stick. So my trick is putting it back there before I've had any water and then just quickly swallowing water. Sometimes it almost feels like you're swallowing just a capsule. You know, you're swallowing something or a piece of food. So that is the way to take methylene blue without walking around with the blue mouth every day. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. And look, you've taken it into the stomach. That's fine. You'll still get benefit from it, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. But for those out there that like to rock the blue tongue, more power to you. Yes, true. <laughs> it is, you know, it is um, a conversation starter. Uh, another quick question, uh, common question. I'm just going to pull up here with our collagen peptides. Um, it does say on here, sugar cane. If you keep reading, it's called sugar cane extract. It's part of polynols. What are, the polynol is made from, which is one of our patented ingredients. Um, it does not add any sugar. Okay, again, our, our products are all diabetic, keto friendly. So they should not um, increase your blood sugar. So sometimes people just read sugar cane and don't keep reading. And you think it's a, we've added sugar cane to our um, collagen, but we didn't. And being the product guy, it's when you say polyenol, immediately I think of all these benefits in the way that it can work on blood pressure, the blood vessels, and specifically on uh, on collagen, and really specifically the enzyme that breaks down collagen and elastin. So that polyenol can actually inhibit the enzyme that breaks it down. So by thereby preserving more of our natural collagen mass. Because so often we're trying to hurry up and replace our collagen, um, which is obviously beneficial, but slowing down the breakdown is just as important. Right. So also just speaking of the additional ingredients in our collagen, I do get, you know, I always say, send me ingredients to compare to. I do get a lot of questions about how do I, how does our product compare to this product and with collagen? Um, and keep like, look at our ingredients, go on our website and we break down the three patented ingredients that are in there and what they do. And that's a big significant difference between our collagen and others. It's not just collagen peptides that we've added. We've also enhanced it with a lot more. So really sets ours above the others uh, just with that alone. Any questions going on? Yeah, some questions are coming in. So um, we're not really there yet to talk about our weight loss system. We do have a sort of a multi-prong approach going. So that should be launching here in the next, you know, 30, 60, 60 days. Right. But once we're ready to launch, you guys will learn everything. I know there's a lot, a lot of your beavers out there and I love it. Mm -hmm. But until we have everything ready to rock and roll. Um... And the gut, the gut's right on track for about the same launch time, just because oh, yeah. we want to support the gut with the weight loss um, product as well. So, yeah, right. that's going to be right there as well. Yeah. Um, this is has to do with Australia, why we can't ship our college in there. Um, Especially so, since the polyenols from Australia. Right. What Thank you for your polyenol. What we've been told is that um, bovine collagen cannot come from the U.S. into Australia. So I don't. I mean, this is a barrier that we fought at, um, and we're not winning. So that's it for right now. It's just with Australia, um, our essential oils internationally, we've been unsuccessful. Each country has a different criterium of what needs to be done to get them in. Um, it's a big process, very overwhelming. So we're not sure where we're going with that one yet. So there's a question that came in and now that you demonstrated methylene blue, mm -hmm. asking about being on an antidepressant, specifically this class is it's Prozac. It's in the class of uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. That's SSRIs. And the question is, what about drug interactions? And I've talked about this pretty extensively mm -hmm. in other you know, podcast style or interview things. And what I tell people is that if you Google drug interactions with methylene blue, yes, you will absolutely see a lot of scary literature talking about serotonin syndrome, which is a buildup of too much serotonin. The reality though, is that those drug interactions reports are all based on high, high doses, IV doses, intravenous dosage. 
And even oral dosages that have ever even been done studied are very, very high, like somewhere between 20 and 50 milligrams per kilogram or something like crazy. It, it's a big number. Maybe it's three to five milligrams per kilogram. But yeah. Um, so needless to say, when we developed the 20 milligrams, we chose, I chose specifically the 20 milligrams per film because the benefit, in my opinion, far exceeds the risk. 20 milligrams is not going to cause the drug interaction things that you see. Um, and it still has a lot of the clinical efficacy. So for, for my position, and I can't say exactly what yours is because I don't know anything about your medical history or anything like that. Plus there's the legal disclosure type stuff that I'm not uh, recommending or you know trying to treat your, your disease or whatever. But, but I would say there's significant benefit over risk to try the methylene blue along with an SSRI. So obviously consult with your provider, but that's my position on it. I've had so many people tell me the exact same that they've, they felt great by using both concurrently. Right. Awesome. Um, do you want to just jump to that one since I hear you so we have on a, medication? Are we talking about a D3 question? Yeah, just, uh, they've always taken D3, but, um, then they're switched to our D3 K2, but they're on a blood thinner. Yeah. Meniquinone seven is the K2. So Really, the studies on vitamin K and blood clotting have to do with K1. Um, you, you know, there's a lot of interesting literature out there, but most of your blood thinners now have moved away from being vitamin K antagonist. Um, you're probably referring to the old style Coumadin or Warfarin. A lot of people are still on it, but the newer blood thinners aren't uh, don't pose as much risk. Uh, obviously, your blood, when you consume vitamin K, which is very, very rich and prevalent in green leafy vegetables and cruciferous vegetables, your body will obviously start hit a point where it'll just shut off the production of vitamin K from it as well. So they'll just, it'll not allow it to, to clot you indefinitely. Um, obviously if you're that concerned about it, you you're welcome to either, you can email me your drug specifically and I can comment on the interaction um, or you just speak, speak with your medical provider, but the D3K2 should not be an issue with uh, most anticoagulants. Awesome. Okay. Um, and before we move on, you can order any of our supplements and also read more about them by going to our website in the description below. Very easy. Just click on it. You can scan through all of our products and you can add to cart and purchase. Um, okay. Before you keep scrolling, uh, I have a few for you. What does hydrolyzed mean? Hydrolyzed means broken down into smaller pieces. And what are they referring to? Collagen. Okay. So the largest, the large peptide of collagen, the whole collagen peptide is basically indigestible, unabsorbable. So the hydrolyzed size it's it basically shrinks down the, the size of the protein it makes it smaller so call it a peptide uh, makes it smaller more manageable the body can actually break it down can absorb it and then once it's absorbed into the blood will reassemble uh, utilizing those amino acids reassemble it and, and use it for collagen production okay so hydrolyze is a good thing yes uh, i see some product requests no noted um, oh, where'd I go? Okay. So Richard um, asked, do we have a turmeric or curcumin product? I mean, we, we, we do, but we don't have a high dose that you're asking of right now. It is um, in our factor four, mm -hmm. um, which let me just look real quick. Right. It's 150 Yeah, per soft gel. So 150 per soft gel. Um, mm -hmm. And we each take Eight, four, four yeah. per day. That's so six. that's 600 right there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I always, I mean, we say on here two per day. Uh, I mean, we feel both feel strongly about the four per day um, personally. And as well as if you're really combating inflammation, you could do a loading dose of six per day and then start to back off as things uh, feel better. So well, if you're can, trying to manage your triglycerides, you can use six a day. Right. So you can, you can easily get the 600 you're asking for plus so much more. Yep. Yep. I am blind over here trying to. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Nate asked, is there anything for prostate health? Um, we, we we're, we're developing a men's support product right now that obviously has something to do with the prostate. We're coming out with a women's a hormonal balance product. Uh, right now though, when I was talking about the eye health with multivitamin, I did the same thing for the men and women. I looked at some things that were really kind of unique. And so lycopene uh, is in the men's multivitamin. It's, it's very beneficial antioxidant. It's highly concentrated in the prostate. Been shown to be beneficial for prostate health. So uh, there's other lifestyle measures, you know, uh, that you can deploy as well. And um, 
you're welcome to email me and I can help you walk through some of those. But look for a men's, uh, yes. men's support product to be out in the near future. Um, Al is asking about starting chemotherapy and can you continue using our Live Good products? First and foremost, you always need to discuss with your doctor, healthcare provider, your oncologist, um, whether you should keep using. But we personally feel like you should. You need to continue to load your body with the nutrients it needs, as well as the antioxidants. Um, even the fact that you know weight loss is, is you know combined with chemo, helping to keep that prevent that as much with our protein powder, making sure you're getting enough nutrients in. And there's also studies about methylene blue mm -hmm. and chemotherapy. Yeah. So, um, I mean, Al, you can email me and I'll send you those studies too, if you want to discuss that with your doctor. But specific questions like this, I mean, our, our personal opinion versus what your doctor really wants you to do are, are very different, can be different, can be the same. So make sure you always ask your doctor. Such a legal disclosure. Okay, got to do it. <laughs> um, of course, we want you to eat high nutrient dense foods. Of course, we want you to take protein and amino acids to preserve your muscle mass. Um, some of this asked about clumping in the collagen. So, um, first of all, our new yeah, our new little frother mixer um helps great, but also just room temperature to warmer water. So I'm almost making it like a tea. Um, and we've made a few changes that are coming out, right? Good advice. And but I'll just be honest and transparent that I've sort now sourced a uh, a, a better, more uh, soluble collagen so this will be not an, a non-issue going forward yep but until then so, but this is really actually a great help even for like the super reds and super greens i know sometimes people will say they're gritty you know it's whole food ingredients um and all you have to do is put it in and mix it with this guy it really makes a big difference much better than a spoon um um rosacea the CBD pain cream. I know there's ingredients in there that are positive for rosacea. But yeah, we have a skincare line coming out. So yeah, not only that too, but autoimmune. Right. Anytime we talk about inflammation. Yeah, run kind of out of control inflammation. I always will go back to that autoimmune approach, you know, try to dial it in through food and nutrition and using supplements. Daryl, we have a gut health supplement coming out. Make sure there's uh, increase her fiber, taking magnesium. Someone was just asking a question about constipation. So lots of hydration, um, the fiber and magnesium. And then when we have our gut supplement come, launching with our, you know, probiotics, prebiotics, all that, it will help as well. Uh, can you take too much collagen, Ryan? Uh, well, no, but you don't really get it to count towards your protein goals. Um, so I wouldn't look at it from that perspective. I, I think you're fine to use... So I've said this in the past, I, I use between 20 and 30 grams of collagen a day, which would basically be two to three servings. So you can use it in the morning, you can use it in the evening. I actually drink it as a tea uh, before bed. Um, no, I honestly, I could look into the research and see what the upper limit is, but I can assure you it's much higher than two or three, 10 to 30, 10, 10 to 20 grams for sure. So right. good question though. Um, somebody's concern with plastic bottles. Uh, we have the same concern as well. I mean, we're very eco-friendly in our home. Oh yeah. Um, but when it comes to cost, we also have to factor that in and putting things, whether it's in glass bottles or more of the bags, I mean, everything costs significantly more and we're, it's not a dead end. We're still searching, but we, we have to factor in the cost. Sometimes you're paying more for the container than you are for the ingredients in it. And it doesn't make much sense. So we're working on it. We really are. Yeah, and I've actually reached out some of the nonprofits that that do the uh, repackaged packaging, mm -hmm. right, so to speak. And uh, we're definitely looking at options to reduce our, our impact. Thankfully, they're not single use. I mean, right, you're getting 14 to 30 servings. So thankfully, that's the case. But I hear you. Trust me. I won't find a single plastic bottle, single use plastic in my house. What are you looking at? Um, I was just sorry. The, the one about the YouTube um, I, I'm not, it might be something in your YouTube settings, Skip. He's asking when he goes to listen to the next video, sometimes it pops up like one that's two weeks old. It might be, uh, the most popular one is up. So the one that maybe has the most views at that time with your settings. So it's populating first. Um, you would want to make sure your settings are in date order. That way you're looking at the most, um, recent video. Um, what can we use as a probiotic? 
we will have that gut support out soon. It's going to have a probiotic. It's going to have multiple probiotic strains. Uh, we're settled on a proper CFU. Um, also prebiotics and postbiotics, which really con right. con is considerably called symbiotics. And the same question someone's asking about gas. Gas, yeah. Bloating. I mean, it's all going to be combined. It's, gut supplements can be awesome. Um, I, Daryl, there is a training on diabetes. Uh, please watch that. Email me if you have any further questions. Um, arthritis. I mean, you've got factor four, decrease that inflammation, uh, getting your daily essentials in there, your vitamin D and magnesium, especially, um, what else? Collagen. I was going to say the collagen, collagen. has the velocitol, a lot of joint health. Um, you know, there's a lot of stages of arthritis too, and whether or not what the, what the issue is, um, Difficult condition for sure, impact on mobility and aging, um, but definitely everything Lisa said on the collagen, uh, continue to move and stay lean. Yeah. Lots of others. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, that's 